I'm Colin Paris, and I'm the Senior Vice President and Chief Technology Officer at GE Digital. At GE Digital, I have two roles. One role is a CTO of the GE Digital company, where I am developing and creating new technologies for current products or our future products. The second role is my role as an officer in the GE company, where I'm driving digital transformation in the GE businesses. For instance, we think of delivering value like increased availability, and we do this by monitoring the health and performance of our asset, a system, a process, and network. You can also deliver value by digital twins using that industrial data by predicting failures or cumulative da damage on an asset that allows you to better prepare as you begin to maintain that asset. You can also use that industrial data with the combination of the digital twin to optimize outcomes. Given the very dynamic industrial situations we find ourselves in the equally astringent industrial conditions. When we think about things like the power generation or the oil and gas sector, a lot of it is focused on the health and monitoring of assets, and in some cases, the optimization of assets. So we produce digital twins of assets and systems. In the software grid case in which we, we build and we develop, we have deployed software for many you know, electric grids across the world, we have network type twins. And those twins look and analyze the state of the grid. You know, and what they attempt to do is understand the exact state of the grid so that you can optimize the amount of power that, the, that is generated and transmitted from the grid you know, at the lowest possible cost. For us, joining the Digital Twin Consortium was all about the right timing, right? If you look at the work that's been done over the last six years, it's a significant appreciation of the value that a twin can bring and an understanding of what a twin can do. So we're now at the point where, as enough people have gathered that value and that understanding, we should combine our learning and our knowledge as a community to accelerate the delivery of the technology into this space. And not just the technology itself in terms of handing that over, but how the technology, you know, can deliver business value. I think for me, um, in, in my view, the consortium advances it, you know, in two ways. One is in the, the, the actual work we do in user scenarios. By actually going through these user scenarios, and that is user scenarios that lead to business value. Right, there is power in financially understanding how this works, because this is when companies actually seek to go implement things. So by going through the user scenarios we have, refining those scenarios, working on these scenarios, understanding the code bases, the data that's needed, fleshing out some of these scenarios and frameworks and actually doing some of them, or creating reusable assets that others can use. That's the first way that the consortium brings value. The second way is in policy. In a lot of these cases, the digital twins will have roles, especially if you think about the AI inside that role that's doing intelligent things. Or oh, it's doing things around once you've gotten that AI, now you interact with control systems or workflows in order to get real work done. The policies around those, how you view things like security, how you view things like privacy, how do you do data sharing in a way that makes sense 